Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to generate the normal map for any of the 3D objects in Icon 7.9. So actually, what is normal map? First, I'm going to show you. You can see this is a 3D object here. By default, without the normal map, it is just like this, without any of the bump surface. So next, if you already have a normal map here, by increasing the strength of the normal map, you can see the bumpy surface will keep increase. And this is this is the normal map. It will just determine any of the bumpy surface here. So if you just without the normal map, without the bump, how are you going to generate it? So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions. I already give you a link there. There's a normal map generator online. You just need to click into this link. Then it will lead you into a website. This is the website. By default, this website will just show you nothing here. So what you need to do is in any of your, your iClone 3D object here, what you need to do is just double click it and check the material. This is the base color, we also can call it as diffuse map. So this one, what you are going to do is just save it. Now I clear my desktop. So first I will just create a new folder. I name it as material. Alright, this is the material folder. And next, from my iClone 3D object here, it is just a base color for the diffuse base color. I click and then I click here, save the texture. As, as demo, I will just save it on my desktop in the material folder. The file name, I will just name it as brick. B-R-I-C-K, save. And now you can see this 3D object, you don't have any of the bump map or what we call the normal map. Now, inside the material folder, I already have this brick. This is a diffuse map. So now I right click view in extra large icon. Next, you go to the normal map generator online. What you are going to do is here, take the diffuse, you load the diffuse from my desktop under the material. I load it. This is the diffuse. And then next, you have to drag your diffuse into here. You drag in. Now you can see automatic generate the normal map, but actually this is this is quite over. So you can just adjust the strength, make it lighter. Now it look better. If you want to do more adjustments, you can just like invert the height. If you invert the height, the bump out is the cement. It is something not logic, so you better just don't invert it. But you can invert it if you want, it doesn't matter. Next. Next, what you are going to do is you just make sure you can see the bump up surface is a brick. Wow, it automatically generate the normal map for you. And also the displacement map, ambient and specular. So what can you do is, at this moment, you can just click download all. Allow. Allow it to download multiple files here. Next, you just need to click here, show in folder. So you can see, it automatically download all of this. I just right click. I just select all of them. Right click, cut. Then close. I put it into my material folder, Control V to paste. You can see I now I have the normal map. And I have the specular map. I have the displacement map. What can I do? In my icon 7. And here, it is already PBR, the bump. You can just drag in into the bump and then this one you can choose normal. If you choose the bump, you can see the differences. And it is a little bit too over. 
with this is the bump. It is a little bit too over, but you can adjust it. If you drag in as as the as the normal, then click OK. Next, at this moment, it will look look more realistic. It's up to you. The next one is the displacement map. You can just find from there. The displacement should be this. Drag in. Drag into the displacement as the height map. Or if you try another one that is called the displacement map, you drag in. If you choose the vector displacement, it's okay. But this one it come out as a little bit weird, so you better undo it. Alright, this displacement you can adjust it as well. You can see. By default, it is like this. So you drag in, you can increase the displacement. Now, it will have the height. This is the default. By default, it should be 0. Then, you make it have some displacement. Now, you have the bump as well. If you delete this, the bump, sorry. The bump, if you make it, make the bump strength. You see, you have the displacements, then it is not going to use the bump. So this one, if I delete it, it is going to use the bump. It is up to you which one you want to choose. All right. I will use the bump, or actually all under your control. And the next one is the specular. The specular can drag in into the roughness. This one is the ambience. Ambience you drag in here. Then the, the specular can drag in into the roughness. And now you can see it become a PBR, it become more realistic in this 3D model. Just by using the normal map online generator, you can get all of this map and make everything realistic. If without normal map, it will just look like it's just flat. Right. Without normal map, it is just flat. With the normal map here, you can see the bumpy surface like this. Make everything more realistic. Alright. That's all for today about how to generate the normal map for any of the 3D object in your icon 7.9. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing, then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.